Hello friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Today, we're going to learn how to add numbers. Wait and see how fun it is. Adding is joining things and counting them. It's that simple. For example, let's add how many toys we have. One plus one, two. Plus one, three. We have three toys. Easy peasy, huh? As you can see, we use this sign when we are adding. And it's called plus. Let's do another example. If a chicken lays three eggs, another chicken lays five eggs, how many eggs do we have in total? Let's see, three eggs plus five eggs is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight eggs. When we're adding, we only write down the number. We don't say what we're talking about, so it's easier to write. If we add four blue marbles plus two green marbles, we write four plus two. That makes a total of six. So we know we have six marbles. Each one of the quantities that we add are called summers, and a simple addition can have as many summers as we wish. Additions can be written vertically, like this one, or horizontally, like this one. For now, we've seen very simple additions, but it's time to do some that are a little more complicated. To add larger figures, such as 32 plus 56, we place one summit under the other, ones under ones, and tens under tens, like this. Then we add a plus sign. Now we need to add the ones from both summits. Two plus six equals eight. And now let's add the tens. Three plus five equals eight. So the final result is 88. That rhymes with cake. But what happens if the addition has remainders and more than two summers? It's easy peasy. Let's add 15 plus 27 plus 4. As we've seen before, we place the summers under each other. Ones under ones and tens after tens. It looks like this. Now we add the ones. 5 plus 7 equals 12 plus 4 equals 16. With the number 16, 6 represents 1s and 1 represents 10s. Because there are no more units to add, we put number 6 by the result. But number 1 represents 10s, so we can't place it yet because we haven't added 10s. So we turn it in a new summit and we take it to the 10s column. Now we can add up all 10s. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 2 is 4. And we put number 4 in the results, under 10s. So the addition's final result is 46. Easy peasy, huh? Now we've learnt to add with remainders. Now you need to practice lots because, as we said before, it's very useful and entertaining. Goodbye friends and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV.